Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about how to shoot tech videos. I've had a couple of people ask me how I shoot my videos. So today I kind of want to share some tips and tricks and hopefully you find that interesting or helpful. I think helpful is the word. Also, huge shout out to today's sponsor, Infinix. They're actually holding a little competition that you can hop on and win some prizes. I'll give you more info later in the video. Now, I'm definitely not the best at this video thing, but I do try. There are two things I try to get right in every single video, and you as well need to get those two things right, and that's video and audio. Now, not everyone can just go out and buy the best audio and video gear and just start making videos. You kind of have to start from zero and then move your way up get it zero okay like I personally started out with just my phone I know a couple other youtubers as well who did so I do recommend you do the same thing as well and that's why Infinix sent over the zero 20 they call it the content creators phone it's got a 60 megapixel front-facing camera with optical AMA stabilization and auto focus it also has a 108 megapixel rear facing camera and in addition to the 020, they sent over two gifts. One's a tripod to help record with, and the other is a 360 phone holder that actually tracks your movement. So if you film alone, which you most likely would be, this can definitely help with that. Huge shout out to Infinix again for these gifts. Like I said earlier, I started out with just my phone and that was my microphone as well as my camera. And frankly, most phones these days have really good video quality as well as mic quality. The Zero 20, for example, has two mics on it. Now, I would still recommend that you do use like a lapel mic, especially if you plan on shooting aerial shots like this, because the phone is a bit far away. So you want a mic that is kind of close to you. This costs, I think, 7,000 Naira. So it's a bit on the affordable side. I think it's called the Boya M1 lapel mic. So you can definitely check that one out. And for video quality, lighting is actually key. Like you can have the best camera in the world, but if you don't have good lighting, your video quality would suck. Now I would recommend using a soft box, not a ring light, because with the soft box, it just softens the shadow and in my opinion, looks way better. You can get some pretty inexpensive ones for around 30,000. And that includes the light stand, the light and the soft box itself. Or is it called the diffuser? I'm not really sure, but you can get that for around 30,000. So I recommend you also get a softbox. So I think that's tip number two, get yourself a softbox. Side tip, you also don't want the light source to be directly in front of your face. So I'm sitting right here and the softbox is a bit far away. So you kind of want to push it back so that way it just looks nicer. Now, because I make tech videos, I do a lot of top down shots. People have told me that my top downs look really nice. So let me show you my secret behind them. Now, first off, I recommend getting PVCs. They're kind of like cardboard, but thicker. You could get multiple colors. I think each go for like 3000. So kind of cheap, kind of expensive. I don't know. But if you get a couple colors, you can actually make your top downs just look a bit more interesting. And then to get the top down angle, I just simply use my tripod. I lean it over the table and I just keep adjusting till it looks like a top down shot. And then for lighting, I placed it opposite the tripod and use that with the softbox again to light the videos and it just looks nice. Those are a couple tips in one. One more tip, to make a phone stand on its own, you kind of want to place something heavy, but also short right behind the phone. For me, I use roll-ons. I just place it behind the phone, place the phone and voila, it stands on its own. And then for top down shots to make things levitate, you can actually just put something underneath the phone to make it levitate. And yeah, those are some of my filming tricks. Like I said earlier, you have an opportunity to win some prizes by joining in the hashtag capture your own story from zero challenge from Infinix. That's a mouthful. To participate, you simply upload a two minute video around a lifestyle activity. Now for my viewers, we make tech videos. So you might make a tech review on a phone. Just try and use some of the tricks that we used in this video. Make sure you upload on TikTok or Instagram and tag Infinix. And then of course, use the hashtag capture your own story from zero. You do that, you make creative entries, you might stand a chance to win some prizes. And even for people that don't necessarily win, you do get some consolation prizes as well. So yeah, once again, huge shout out to Infinix for sponsoring today's video. You guys should definitely hop on on the challenge and win yourself some prizes. But yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it useful or entertaining and I'll see you when you see me.